The Heritage Center, which was opened in September 2008, is the flagship of the Heritage Foundation, a non-profit company that concentrates on the conservation of threatened heritage of specific importance to the Afrikaner community. It is managed by the Futreka Monument. Work on the statue was finalized by Henny Portgieter in 1961 and is nearly two times larger than life. It was initially placed on the lawn in Parliament Street, Pretoria, and was moved to its current position at the Heritage Centre on the 21st of August 2008. Tamed, disciplined freedom is the basis of all successful life expressions. It is the cornerstone of democracy. It is manifested in all aspects of life. Freedom of action may never degenerate to licentiousness, and freedom of speech should not become offensive. Potgieter's treatment of this theme was classical. The origin of the Heritage Center's modern emblem lies in Western folk art, which was also adopted by the Afrikaner. The circle motif is based on the whirl. The lines and dots are connected and converge in a central point, the Heritage Center. It symbolizes thoughts, elements and events, which made an impact through the years and formed part of the formation of a people. When joined together, a larger picture is created, a larger heritage which grows and serves as an inheritance for future generations. A variety of interesting elements is found in the entrance hall. Wallpaper consists of faces of well-known and unknown Afrikaners, people with individual likes and dislikes, love and sorrow, sadness and happiness, individuals who share a language and a history become part of a group and the heart of a people. The curtain contains a number of Afrikaans surnames printed on canvas. It was cut into panels and hung at random. This building and exhibition could be completed thanks to the financial support of various institutions. One of the aims of the Heritage Foundation is to establish a trust and generate money for the funding of research on Afrikaner-related aspects. To qualify as a founder member, a contribution of 20,000 Rand is required. Afrikaans is promoted in this shop from T-shirts, glasses and pens sporting the logo of the Heritage Center to a selection of Afrikaans books and CDs that are on sale. Enjoy a cup of coffee, Buritrus, at the counter. Film footage is continuously shown in the mini auditorium. It may also be hired for small functions and lectures. The exhibition, with a theme, Afrikaners in the 20th century, Pioneers, Beacons and Bridges, postcard images from the past, forms the nucleus of the top level of the Heritage Center. 20th century South African history, and especially the Afrikaners' emotional involvement, was extremely complex. It was endeavored to provide an honest, balanced and credible view of the role and contribution of a people who, under difficult circumstances, had an indelible influence on the country. As a result, South Africa could round off the century as a world leader in various spheres and one of the leading countries on the African continent. Sandstone corner pillars symbolize the Afrikaners' attachment to nature. They are well-known beacons in the countryside where they determine the borders of the farms. The soil was an important element in the formation of the Afrikaner identity. Enter into the world of the 20th century Afrikaner through this gate. The panels explain the origin and development of a small group of Europeans, later known as Afrikaners, who moved into the interior and eventually established two independent Boer republics. This is an information exhibition and there are only two objects on display. That is... Slechte Tijding, Bad News, a bronze statue by Anton van Vaux, who depicts the despondency of two Boers on...